one thing that has been put on my heart, um, you know, as of late is going to where the centers are, you know? So I'm like, well, Lord, should I, should I start going to the bars? You know, and of course I don't drink anymore, but should I go into the bars? Should I go, um, you know, to the strip club and try to share the gospel with those that God is calling that just don't realize that they're called? So the bars, I'm still waiting on an answer from the Lord if this is something that he really wants me to do and I wouldn't do it. And I would pick, you know, specific bars based on where the Holy Spirit led. But when right, I right. when I thought about the strip clubs, God clearly said, do not do that. Because right. there are entities and deities and demons that are attached to a strip club, of course, because it's sexual immorality um, mm -hmm. that I don't have any business dealing with. And right. there's a principality over a strip club that I'm not, God has not given us permission to uh, go up against that level of power. Let my angels, right. let his angels deal with that. But I really have this desire to just go to where the people need to hear the gospel, where they need to see someone that cares enough that I don't I don't belong in this bar, but I'm coming right. because God has led me here to you to share the gospel with you today. So you were saying about your grandpa back in the day, where, what did you say he used to do? Yeah, so my grandfather, bless his heart, I love him so much. <laughs> he um, had a street ministry. He said he used to, you know, um, preach in the street and everything like that. But he also told me that he used to go in crack houses and bars to preach the gospel. And I was sitting there talking to him about this one day. And I was like, Grandpa, really? I was like, that's pretty, <laughs> like, I was like, go Grandpa. Like, who? Go Grandpa. Grandpa, right? I'm like, that's hard. I can tell stuff. you the last time I was in a crack house. Like, it was probably right? um, years ago, my, like mid-20s. Right, yeah, exactly. Same now, a weed ago. house, you know, a couple of years ago. But right, crack house right. is not not too recent thank god for deliverance for both of us <laughs> amen. amen but like it just goes to show you too like sometimes god does call you to those certain places and stuff and like as for me i like i even freak out now if i smell marijuana if i smell any type of drugs if mm -hmm. i even get a whiff of alcohol i freak out and i'm like jesus like calm me down i'm not that person anymore you know yeah. because i don't don't want it to like go in my system if that makes sense you know like, no, it makes total to sense. register something but like you know god does call people like that to these houses to the bars like you were saying you mm -hmm. want to help them you know and i'll help you too to try to like figure out a way you can do that maybe like post up outside or something you know god allows that you know with a sign or something and just hang out you know um, maybe for like a few hours, because since you're a woman, you know, and mostly the bar and nightclubs, you know, happen at night and everything like that. Right. Um, I even thought about nightclubs, but I'm yeah, like, just Lord, be careful. Yeah. There's a lot be going on careful. in Atlanta right now with nightclubs. I mean, it's, you know, shootings and just a lot going on in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm like, I don't 